Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will have a much less royal experience when their grandfather Prince Charles takes the throne, a royal expert has claimed. While the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's eldest son Prince George, seven, is destined to one day be king, his younger siblings are highly unlikely to ever be called upon, unless he quit his duties or tragedy struck. And according to Ingrid Seward, author of Prince Philip Revealed, Prince Charles' plans for a slimmed-down monarchy will see Charlotte, six, and Louis, three, have even more freedom and little involvement in the royal family, after he learned from the mistakes he made with Prince Harry. 36. The full details of Charles' plan to limit the number of royals have never been revealed, but it has been speculated that only heirs to the throne and their immediate families will receive full titles, financial support from the public purse through the sovereign grant and police protection funded by the taxpayer. Ingrid told Newsweek, it is quite possible that Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are not even going to be involved very much. When they're growing up their grandfather will be on the throne for a bit and he's talked about this slimmed down monarchy. I think they will have to be given more freedom. She added that Charles, 72, is right in the firing line with Prince Harry, 36, and can see the mistakes he made. Harry just did what he wanted basically. So did William up to a point. But I think that Charlotte and Louis will have a very much less royal existence, Ingrid went on. The royal experts suggested nothing much will change until the Queen, 95, passes away, at which point the throne will go to her eldest son. The existing rules for royal titles were established in letters patent dated November 20, 1917. In these, King George V, the Queen's grandfather, allowed the title of prince and princess to be given to the children of the sovereign, the children of the sovereign's sons and the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales, in this case, Prince George. Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis received their titles not by right but as gifts of the Queen, who issued new letters patent to that effect in 2013. Similarly, when King Charles will have the power to change George versus letters patent how he sees fit, and so streamline the firm. An insider said previously, Charles has never made any secret of the fact that he wants a slimmed, down monarchy when he becomes king. He realizes that the public don't want to pay for a huge monarchy and, as he said, the balcony at Buckingham Palace would probably collapse. Even now, not all grandchildren of the Queen are titled Prince or Princess. Because she is a daughter, not a son, of the Sovereign, Princess Anne's children had no automatic right to the title but out of choice she also declined lesser titles for her children Peter and Zara. The Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, thought it prudent not to name his daughter and son as Princess and Prince. Instead, they are titled Lady and Viscount respectively. The Prince of Wales and his younger brother Prince Andrew have already been at loggerheads about what security the Duke of York's daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, should receive in future. Charles has also made it clear that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie, too, will have no place among frontline royals, a revelation made by royal biographer Robert Lacey in his recently revised book Battle of the Brothers. In it, he wrote of the Prince of Wales' plan, this was Prince Charles' special crusade. In an age of slimming, the future monarch wanted to slim down the House of Windsor. Charles' idea was to reduce the public face of the monarchy to just the sovereign and their consort, plus those children and grandchildren who were directly in the senior bloodline, with no more uncles and cousins to be reckoned up by the dozen, no more aunts. He added, Charles felt that his brothers Andrew and Edward should step back as part of the slimming process, an argument he lost. The decision to deny Archie his prince title is believed to have incensed the Sussexes and potentially prompted the series of bitter accusations the couple leveled at him and the firm from across the Atlantic earlier this year. A grandchild of the sovereign has long had the right to be a prince, but Charles is determined to limit the number of key royals, believing the public does not wish to pay for an ever expanding monarchy. Charles has told the Sussexes that he will change key legal documents to ensure that Archie cannot get the title he would once have inherited by right, according to a source close to the couple. The loss will be all the more galling as the Sussexes have made a point of refusing to use another, lesser title for their son, who is technically the Earl of Dumbarton. They took that decision safe in the knowledge that Archie would become a prince in due course. Or so they thought. Earlier this year, a source close to the Sussexes confirmed they did indeed expect Archie to be named a prince when Charles, Archie's grandfather, acceded to the throne.
Their spokesman at the time was even instructed to remind journalists of that fact. The Sussexes finally learned that would not be the case just before sitting down with Oprah Winfrey for their first bombshell interview in March. Insiders suggested the issue was still raw at the time of the recording, which might help account for the devastating criticisms they unleashed on the show including the damaging implication that an unnamed senior member of the royal family had referred to Archie in a racist way. It also threw a spotlight on one section of the interview which had raised eyebrows at the time. Speaking to Oprah, Meghan recalled how, when she had been pregnant, they, the royal family, were saying they didn't want him to be a prince or a princess. She continued, you know, the other piece of that convention is, Teresa Convention. I forget if it was George V or George the Sixth Convention, that when you're the grandchild of the monarch, so when Harry's dad becomes king, automatically Archie and our next baby would become prince or princess, or whatever they were going to be. But also it's not their right to take it away. This puzzled royal watchers, who reminded the Sussexes they had very publicly declared that they didn't want a title for their son, who would be known as Archie Harrison Mountbatten, Windsor. Some pointed out that a son of Prince Harry's, a great, grandchild of the Queen, had no automatic right to be titled a prince, or receive a security allowance. But that was to ignore the real drama taking place behind the scenes. Because Meghan was actually referring to the secret news that Archie would never become a prince, not even when Charles was king. A source said, this is what nobody realized from the interview. The real thing was that Charles was going to take active steps to strip Archie of his ultimate birthright.